Welcome to Business Standards Afternoon News Update. First, the headlines. Moody is against food security bill. Sushil Maru is appointed as SR Energy's CEO. And RBI Governor Subarao is set to deliver his parting speech today. Now, the news in detail. Moody's Investors Service that has been maintaining stable outlook on India's sovereign ratings even as its peers cut it to negative, today cast its vote against the food security bill passed by the Lok Sabha earlier this week. It said the move is credit negative for the Indian government as it will push up its subsidies. The Moody's statement came even as the government has been saying that the proposed law will have only marginal impact on the fiscal situation of the centre. Moody's also attributed sharp depreciation in the rupee against the dollar, partly to higher current account deficit, which is also affected by the fiscal imbalance. The ratings agency has been retaining outlook on India's ratings to stable, even as Standard & Poor's and Fitch had downgraded it to negative. SR Energy PLC has announced the appointment of Sushil Maru as Chief Executive Officer and a Director of SR Energy. This follows the stepping down of Naresh Nayar, the current CEO. Nayar will be appointed as a member of the SR Corporate Centre and Oversight Advisory Committee. Both appointments are effective from September 16, 2013. Maru was Deputy Managing Director and a Board Director of Jindal Steel and Power Limited. He was also Deputy Managing Director of Jindal Power Limited since 2008. Maru's exit from JSPL came almost a year after Ravi Uppal was appointed as the Managing Director of JSPL in October 2012. The Reserve Bank of India Governor D. Subara will give his parting speech today evening at the Tata Theatre, National Centre for Performing Arts. Subarao's five-year term ends on September 4th. Subarao had taken over as the governor of RBI in the first week of September 2008. Today, he will speak about his five years of leading the central bank and the way forward when the next governor, Raghuram Rajan, takes charge. Subarao was the 22nd governor of the RBI, who took over at the time of the global financial crisis. Subarao is leaving at a time when the rupee is under pressure against the dollar due to global and domestic factors, which paves the way for challenges for Rajan. That is all we have for now. Keep watching this space for more news.